Prince Harry could have his visa revoked after admitting to using drugs. Prince Harry said he started using psychedelic drugs recreationally to cope with his trauma. Prince Harry could see his visa revoked after admitting to using drugs in a televised therapy session, Piers Morgan pointed out. Speaking to famed therapist Dr. Gabor Mate for his program The Myth of Normal, Trauma, Illness, and Healing in a Toxic Culture, Prince Harry said he started using drugs after realizing they helped him cope with his trauma. But Morgan noted U.S. officials take a dim view of drug use by non-U.S. citizens as he noted the Duke of Sussex U.S. stay could now be at risk. The presenter said, Harry has barely finished the global family trashing tour in support of his treacherous family trashing memoir, inevitably he's decided the world hasn't heard quite enough from him. So Harry's latest wheeze is a live therapy session with Dr. Gabor Mate, a famed trauma expert, in which he reminded us again that he, Harry, is the world's biggest victim. Dot discussing his relationship with drugs, the Duke of Sussex told Dr. Mate, I started doing it recreationally and then started to realize how good it was for me. I would say it is one of the fundamental parts of my life that changed me and helped me deal with the traumas and the pains of the past. Dot Morgan suggested Prince Harry may now be forced to skip his father's coronation on May 6 to avoid being barred from returning to the United States because of his admission. TV chef Nigella Lawson was forbidden from boarding a flight to the United States in 2014 after admitting to having taken cocaine during an unrelated trial. The Sky News Australia contributor added, Another compelling reason why we don't want them at the King's coronation, we might end up being stuck with them for good. According to the U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services, visa applicants who are found to be drug abusers or addicts are inadmissible to the U.S. The terms regulating how to assess whether someone is a habitual drug user are set under the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders (DSM) of the American Psychiatric Association. But under rules changed in 2010, a history of experimental use can no longer play a direct role in the admissibility determination border officers have to make when assessing a visa claim. However, Precedent exists where foreign nationals applying for entry to the U.S. were denied on criminal grounds despite having no conviction to their name. Laura Devine Solicitor's senior attorney Karnak Duke Magian told Vice in 2019, the law says that if you have been convicted of a U.S. or foreign law relating to controlled substances, or if you have admitted to violating such a law, then you are inadmissible to the U.S. Dot referring to the case of Brit Isabella Brazier Jones, who was denied entry to the U.S. after a two-year-old message about cocaine was found on her phone, Duke Magian noted U.S. officials had become stricter when it comes to admitting people who use drugs in the past. He added, there are legal standards the authorities are supposed to follow, but recent experience has shown that a simple admission to having possessed a controlled substance is being deemed sufficient to refuse entry.